component databases or data banks. And Aspen Plus has plenty of data banks and databases in which we retrieve uh, parameters which are used for ca further calculation. So the more we have, the better. But for instance, we let's say you choose water as a pure component, you require well all the relevant data, molecular weights, viscosity lines, uh, whatever thing you think is important, maybe the binary, binary interactions, polarity, etc. They are present on the component databases. So let's talk about the pure database. As the name implies, this talks about pure substances. And I will say one of the most important parts. I'm not going to read all these. You can click pause and read why is it important. But as stated before, the pure component database is one of the most important ones because it contains all the relevant data used for modeling such pure substances. Now let's talk about the binary um, databases. As the name implies, you probably know already by physical chemistry that ethanol and water require a specific model. Let's say that butane and propane maybe does not require a very specific model, but this is a very important model. So this is included in the binary components databases. Recall that each material interacts between each other specifically, and plenty of them require different models. And each model requires the binary parameters, and these are included in Aspen Plus databases. Also, we talked about Henry uh, constants. They are included here. If you choose CO2, well, it's not the same that you choose water, ethanol, phenol. Still, Henry law applies, yet we have different constants. So all this is included in this binary database. And as well, more, much more complex, such as NRTL, Uniquack, Wilson, etc. How can you check out the databases that we are being used? Is essentially go to component specification, double click it, and then you will get into this tab, component, compounds. Now select the second tab, tab which is data banks. At data banks, there are plenty of data banks here. APV implies Aspen Plus version. I have 8.8, .8. maybe you have 10, 9, etc. Well, that is the version, and of course, the newest versions include better modifications, better corrections, fixings, etc. So the selected data banks, which are for default in Aspen Plus, are presented here. APV 88 Pure 32 implies Aspen Plus version 8.8 .8 for pure substances. Now we have data for aqueous data, we have data for solid materials, we have data for inorganic, maybe if you are modeling silver, maybe even copper, maybe even carbon or etc. And we have relevant data for equation of states. So these are the main data banks. We're going to see later on how to manipulate them. But you can still add more on maybe you have a very specific process which includes ethylene pack. You can choose this one. Maybe it's much convenient for you to use the ethylene definition of the APV88 ethylene data bank than the pure one. Now you can check out here or go directly to Aspen Help and check out individually what each component data bank has. As stated before, the Pure32 is one of the most important ones because it includes mm, sources, blah, 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 okay. It includes primary pure components data bank in the Aspen physical property system. That is, is one of the most important ones. But let's check out what else do we have here. What's the difference between Pure 28 or Pure 26? It's nothing more than the version. So if you're using version 7, you are most likely using the Pure 26 at the bank. If you have version 8.2 or 8.4, you will see Pure 28 instead of Pure 32. Most likely if you have higher versions than mine, you will have Pure 36, 40, etc. You can check out here specifically, and you can even click here to read more on the data bank. So let's check out more on this Pure 32 data bank. 
said it before, AP Aspen Plus, BA8 version 8.8, .8, and PURE stands for PURE Components. So it contains parameters for 2,154 material, they say mostly organic, that will be in organics are present, of course, in another databank. They, uh, they contain mostly liquid vapor parameters. The databank is based on the AIKI data compilation project, blah, blah, blah. Well, this is more technical stuff. The important part is to actually know what they are. If you are really interested on how and why and who took this data, you can check out individually. So I think this is important. They contain universal constants, such as critical temperature and pressure. They got temperature and property transition, boiling point, trip. So yeah, of course, relevant data for the liquid vapor interaction. They got enthalpy data, Gibbs data, entropy. They got coefficients for thermodynamic properties such as liquid vapor pressure, etc. Yeah. Once again, they got relevant data, which is required for modeling pure substance interaction. Let's say when you go directly to the simulation and you have maybe a pipe and you want to model it, well, if you have a certain velocity, you know the pipe, then you will need to know the material. And let's say if we are talking about ethylene glycol, you will want to know the, the viscosity at the given temperature. Where can you find this? Most likely in the Pure32 databank. Okay, more data on what do you have here. I'm not going to read them all. You can click pause if you want to read the specifics. This is just technical stuff for you to know that actually you can even redefine components. Now the aqueous data bank is for ionic species. As stated before, the electrolytes are seen in further courses. But if you want to check this out, you can read it as well. Solids, once again, is covered in the solid course but it contains 3,312 pure solid components. Also, electrolyte applications. Of course, if you are modeling table salt, you will want to model what happens when you get them into water. So you have the solid part and you got the aqueous data bank. Inorganic is important because these are components which are extensively used in many simulations. Maybe you have, have a catalyst and if you have a reaction between maybe mercury, you have solid mercury interacting and you don't want to, but it's maybe poisoning a catalyst or poisoning a product. Well, you can model that via the inorganic data banks. I'm not going to get that technical into the data banks. I just wanted to show you how can you check out more information on that and in this workshop, you will be selecting the relevant data bank for you. And you can also check which is the search order for Aspen. So as stated before, if you choose the ethylene pack, well, you will want to select the priority for that.